The Public Investment Corp has received a helping hand from Russia. It signed an agreement with Car Gazprom Bank to aid business agreements between the two countries. The deal will focus on finance, credit and social analysis, among other things. It's aimed at furthering the PIC's mandate of increasing development in the public sector. Gazprom Bank is Russia's third largest bank, focusing on oil and gas production and exporting. The PIC believes the deal will benefit South Africa greatly. Gazprom itself is known for its uh, uh, technical uh, uh, acumen and ability in the field of oil and gas, which we are going to need in infrastructure. And therefore, this tie-up will uh, uh, benefit the country in terms of capital. It will allow us to invest uh, the monies that the clients has given to us in a partnership uh, that is strong, that will uh, help us in terms of technical analysis, investment, due diligence, and many other things that goes with investment. And therefore, we hope that we'll be able to invest wisely alongside them. Woolworth says it will be meeting with the BDS about bringing an end to the boycott Woolworths campaign. A court on Tuesday ordered BDS to stop organizing, coordinating, or encouraging any form of protest inside Woolworth stores. In terms of what that meeting's about, though, let's be clear, that's not about whether Woolworths will go on um, sourcing from Israel or Woolworths sourcing policy. Our sourcing policy is dictated and guided by the South African government, and, and we've made that very clear. The purpose of that meeting, following the interdict from the court in Johannesburg, is to talk to the BDS about bringing an end to their campaigns in our stores and coming to a lasting agreement on that. After the break, we take a look at saving for your children's education. You're watching ENCA Moneyline, your money guide to save. Stay with us.